Mac OS X allows you to easily integrate your Mac with an Active Directory environment. Whether this is you bringing your machine in from home into your corporate organization, or whether you've got thousands of Macs and you want to integrate them with your environment, we can easily allow you to do that through the built-in functionality that we have on the system. So let me show you how this is done. First of all, when you're working with Active Directory, you want to make sure that in your network preferences, you've set up your DNS such that you're using the same DNS server that your Windows systems might be using. If you're not using that, it's going to be a lot harder for this to happen. So once you verify that you've got the same DNS as what your Windows systems have, you can then go into the Utilities folder where the Directory Utility application lives. This application is what you use to actually bind to Active Directory to make that connection to allow you to use Active Directory users, computers, policies, and everything else from your organization's environment on your Mac. So let's show how this works. First of all, you're going to need to click on the locks and authenticate as an admin. Once you've done that, you can hit the plus sign, pull down from Open Directory to Active Directory, type in your Active Directory domain name, in this case, example.lan, the computer ID. This is the name of the computer account that's going to be created by the Active Directory plugin on Mac OS X. So your Active Directory administrator might have some good ideas for you here, but typically you want this to be short and descriptive. So we're going to just say MacBook Pro. You're going to need an account that has the ability to bind systems to Active Directory. This doesn't necessarily have to be a full-blown enterprise admin in Active Directory, but in many cases it is. That's all you need. Fill out this information and hit OK. You see the green light here. You see Active Directory domain. The server is responding normally. This means that you've now been integrated in the Active Directory environment. The users, the accounts, the permissions, the preferences that might be stored in your Active Directory environment can now be available to your Mac OS X system here on the desktop. So let's really test this out. Let's log in as an Active Directory user and show you the experience that you're going to get when this happens. There we go. It looks exactly like logging in as a normal user on Mac OS X, because it is. You've got the same environment. We now have a home directory on the local system. We're able to access uh, folders, documents, files, run applications, and everything else. You had to log in using your Active Directory credentials. So if your Active Directory administrator might have changed something, your password, reset your password, that's reset here as well, because we're doing a live lookup against Active Directory. In here, if we go to the Accounts Preference pane, you can see that this user that we're logged in as is listed as a network user. The user is coming from Active Directory, doesn't live on the local system here. You can go to Change Password, type in your old password, and your new one. Then just hit the Change Password button. This will change your password in Active Directory, not just on the local system here so that everything within Active Directory will now be updated with that new password. In many cases, you might have a password policy that makes you change your password every 30, or 60, or 90 days. You can do that password change from this screen right here without having to go to a PC to do that. Once you're done, all you have to do is log out the normal way. Take you right back out to the login screen, and you're done with your experience as an Active Directory user on OS X.